Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Dr. Alessandro. In this video, it's gonna be a back to school special. So I'm gonna be showing some tips and tricks, really one, to protect adjacent teeth for dental students out there, maybe even other practitioners if they so choose to use it. Um, that way you try to protect the adjacent teeth from damage. Now, like I said, this is especially geared towards the dental students since they're all going back to school or they're starting school now. And I think this would be helpful, you know, for them in their preclinical exercises and even their preclinical practicals, much more importantly, because for practicals, of course, damaging adjacent teeth means, well, you lose points at the very least, and sometimes you fail. And in board examinations, very, very importantly, you fail. And in practice, you really don't want to do it. So that said, here is my video on protecting the adjacent teeth. So here we have Larry. Uh, I call this Larry. Larry, of course, is the name of the person who generously donated the type of aunt for use for these videos. Um, and so here we have Larry. We'll call the type of aunt Larry in honor of Larry. And what you, you want to do in order to protect the adjacent teeth, you want to make sure there's some sort of a physical barrier. So say you're doing an MO here, on 14. Well, that's all good and dandy, but first thing you want to do is you want to pre-wedge. So you get a wedge, preferably a larger one, you just kind of push it in. Now you're going to want to use an instrument, of course, in practice. Um, when you're doing tabletop or, you know, any kind of preclinical thing, you can you know, use your fingers, but not exactly the smart thing. Then you want to use a Toffelmeyer band. So use one of these Toffelmeyer bands. You can see them. So using one of these that's cut, now you want to be careful, okay, because these are sharp, as you can see. So a piece of Toffelmeyer band that's been cut, it's sharp, so you got to be careful. So what you do is you slide it in part way, and it'll go part way because the wedge has actually separated the two plastic teeth. And then you can slide it through. After that, after you remove the wedge in order to get the strip in, you want to reapply the wedge. So once you do that, Again, all very carefully, because it's sharp. You've separated, and now you can go ahead and begin to do your procedure. You can go ahead and drill the MO, and you'll have a protective barrier. I highly recommend this for if you have, say, projects that you're gonna be graded on. This is a great way to you know, not damage the adjacent tooth. Uh, or if you're taking a practical and you have to do an MO prep or an MOD or something like that. Of course, you can do the same thing to the distal, you know, to number 15. Do the same exact thing. You can go ahead and, you know, go ahead and put the um, wedge in, slide the matrix, cut matrix band in, then part way, then you remove the wedge, you slide the rest of the way in, re-wedge, and you're good to go. Uh, Pre-wedging is helpful in private practice too, or in any kind of practice, faculty practice, where, whatever you happen to be doing, uh, because it does separate the teeth a bit and you know it, it, it's beneficial. And you can still do the same thing. You can protect adjacent teeth, whether you're doing your operative, you're doing crown and bridge. So this folks applies also to crown and bridge. So if you want to do that in order to protect the adjacent teeth when you're breaking the contact, you can. And I think that that's actually a very smart thing to do. So if you're breaking contact, uh, yeah, why not? In the preclinic, it's another good trip, a uh, good trick. So, uh, whether it be for operative or crown and bridge, you've got a new tool in your tool bag. So, there you go. All right. So, hey, thank you again so much for joining me on this video that's dedicated to back to school. Uh, hope you students who are watching uh, enjoyed the video. Enjoy my other videos as well. You know, please like and subscribe and keep on watching as I will try to provide you with additional tips and tricks over the course of the school year. And again, hope you're all staying very well and healthy.